What's up, YouTube? So today I'm gonna be talking about 19 things that I've learned at 19. Some of these things I feel like I just learned a couple months back, so I'm still trying to put them into my life. No judgment. So I'm getting ready, and I thought while I'm getting ready, let me give you guys some things that I've learned and started to implement into my life. First things first, the most and the first thing that I feel like I've actually learned at 19 is this is your life. This is literally your life. It's not your mom's life, it's not your dad's life, it's not your sister's life, it's not your brother's life. It's your life, it's not your friend's life. The people on the internet can't live your life for you. You have to live your life for yourself, you know. When you're yourself, the people that are meant for you will find you. Because they're just gonna love you for being yourself. It's like, why would you want someone to love you when you're not your authentic self? Because that would put so much unnecessary pressure on you. So live your life the way you want. Don't even... What's the word? What's the word? Don't care what other people think about you. Especially when you're not doing anything bad. Obviously, I'm not saying go out there and be a criminal. If you're living a good life, live your life unapologetically. And this brings me to my next lesson that I've learned in my last year as a teenager. It's so funny because when I was younger, right, I used to think, you know, damn, people have this shit, like, figured out. No one has it figured out. Your parents are doing life for the first time. The president of the United States is living for the first time. No one has done life before. Do you get what I'm saying? Like, everyone is probably just as confused as you are probably just figuring out life the way you are everyone's making mistakes everyone is growing so that's okay like no one knows <laughs> no one knows what life is about no one knows the correct way to do life why do you think there's so many religions why do you think people uh, believe in many things it's because no one actually knows let me tell you me i feel like everyone just lives on vibes and when i adopted that is it adopted or adapted? When I adapted that mindset, life became so much more easier to me because before I used to be like, oh my god, like I'm 19, I should be doing this, I should be doing the No, because everyone's life is different, everyone is on a different path, which is why there is no guide on how to live life. Like there's no notebook that you must follow and like no one knows anything about life. So live your life the way you want. My third lesson that I've learned which has literally i don't want to say helped me leave therapy but actually made therapy make sense to me and it's that everyone makes mistake i don't know if i mentioned that but this is the third lesson everyone makes mistake it's okay to make mistakes it's okay to fail everyone feels at something okay like i used to beat myself up so much whenever like i make a decision and like oh my god I realize it's wrong like I should have chosen something else or I should have done something else or maybe I should have said something else everyone makes mistakes it's part of life that's how you learn that's how you grow how are you gonna learn if you've never made a mistake I mean you could learn but like how are you gonna learn learn mistakes are gonna teach you like it's an actual experience for you to live and be like oh I've been there done that didn't come out good so I'm not gonna do that again that's like your own personal experience and you grow from that Put your health first. Health is so important, guys. I feel like health is... Health? I feel like health is something that, like, yo, we literally just have to take it so serious. And, like, you would never know how important or, like, how much you need to focus on your health until you are, like, in a situation where you're fighting for your life. Literally. Before I had like the injury where I dropped on my face, like did I I didn't used to go to the gym. I I wouldn't say I hated being active, but for like the past two, three years I've not been I haven't even run. I I've not even jogged. I was just like so I wanna say inactive in a way. But after that I was like yo, like no. Like my health is number one. 
and like being active guys is so good because it helps your mental health so much it helps your mental health it helps your physical health it literally even helps your spiritual health because there'll be multiple times where let's say i'm going for like a night walk obviously to get my steps in and while i'm on my walk like i'm literally getting my mind so clear that i'm figuring things out i don't know if that makes sense like maybe i have like a question or like a thought something i'm trying to sort through i could go the entire day with like my brain being fogged up and the moment i'm walking i'm like oh this is how i'm gonna get this done because it gives me that like clarity of mind so focus on your health guys like please take care of yourself so much because no one is going to you're not five anymore your parents are not i mean if your parents are there good for you but your parents are not gonna be there for you two four seven you're an adult you know and yeah and it's actually so easy to take your health more seriously because what is it exercise eat healthy drink water get sun get fresh air those five things alone can literally transform your life in like a heartbeat so yeah the thing that i've learned in my teenage life and i'm still struggling to sort of implement in my life is consistency guys consistency cause con consistency and it's like i don't know if it's a trauma response right but like when i was younger i never really like had a full year that was like like my years were never i never lived the same year twice type thing if that makes sense like i was always moving houses i was always changing schools i was always traveling like a lot was going on when i was younger so i feel like now i can literally see it in parts of my life where i'm like i should be consistent in there but like i don't want to do that anymore but being consistent it's key is key because it will help you achieve whatever you want in life like if you're studying and you only study one time you think you're gonna pass the exam no you have to keep studying you have to go hard go harder keep going consistency is key laura get that into your head i'm learning with you guys guys the next lesson i've learned is don't wait i don't know if that makes sense but don't live your life waiting don't live your life waiting for your face to get clearer waiting for your acne to go away waiting for your butt to get bigger waiting for your stomach to get flatter waiting for you to get prettier don't wait don't even live your life waiting for you to get more money start living your life today because once you start living your life today all those things will come you know being in the present moment oh that's another lesson guys be in the freaking present moment what so i read this is it a book i don't think it was a book but i think it was like an article that i read and it said that sometimes we miss our blessings because we're not in the moment if you're living in the moments like god will god or whatever you believe in is gonna make things work for you in your favor like you always have those slight opportunities guys the craziest things or like some of the best moments in my life have not been planned i've never planned them and it's like that's crazy because when i plan something like it'll be nice right but then those which i don't plan will just make such a huge impact in my life so live in the moments live in the moments let god guide you let your intuition your inner voice let it guide you the good one you know when it's actually telling you the truth you're gonna know so yeah just let that guide you okay my next doo -doo -doo. the next lesson i've learned in life being your own person is like so important because it's gonna save you from lots of unnecessary what's the word embarrassment yeah dress the way you want to dress ignore what people will say let me tell you guys a story time when i came to canada right i'm from st catherine's which is in ontario it's a small village it was such a traumatizing moment for me because i was born and i grew up in port Harcourt. so i'm used to you know having like but i'm used to like you know black people being the majority and like white pe i say white pe white people you know just being like a few exclusions but when I came here, I was like, bro, 
in a school of 1,000 people, I'm one out of five black students. Make it make sense. So I was overwhelmed. And guys, obviously, I went through like culture shock. And I didn't even know that was culture shock. I didn't even know what the frick culture shock was at that point of my life. I was like, oh, okay, like this is new, but like let's get it, I guess. And that was my mentality. But the entire time in school, I would change my hairstyles every day. Like I'm coming from a culture where we find beauty in our hair. And I literally change my hairstyle every day. And I'll come to school and everyone will look at me like, like I'm so weird. They look at me like that because it's like, once a person here adopts a hairstyle, they would literally carry that same hairstyle for like years. And I'm like, that's boring. Like switch it up. Have fun with your hair. But then everyone just look at me like, damn, she has that much time, just, whatever. But be an individual because now I'm looking at it, I'm like, yo, like I literally always have sick hairstyles. Like I always look beautiful. I'm always switching it up. Yeah, but if I was like, you know what? Maybe this is not who I am. Maybe I need to stick to one hairstyle. The way I would regret it right now. Because it's like, it's not fun to me at least. This brings me to my next life lesson. Do what feeds your soul, not your flesh. What would you do if you gain the world and you lose your soul? Like, you'd be sad. I promise you'd be depressed. That's why I read this um, quote that said, your achievements and your progress in life is not measured by the materials you have. It's not measured by the cars, the houses, the money. It's measured by your mental health. It's measured by how your heart feels is measured by how happy your soul is you know and i feel like more people should hear that because once you just hear it, it's like oh my these things are material like are you going to take it to your grave no to be up here someone else will enjoy it so it's like do what pleases your soul don't try to change yourself because of someone because you and your you and your soul your heart you guys will be tussling in there because that's not who you are that's not who your authentic self is and you can't lie to yourself guys oh my goodness this this is so spicy i'm so excited i love this talk but you can't lie to yourself guys and it brings me to my next point read books you heard me say it read books read books read books guys i never was a reader horrible I graduated high school in Nigeria, I wrote my Wayek and I never read, ever. I never studied, ever, ever, ever. I don't want to read. If it's not a text message, I'm not reading. If your text message is too long, I'm not reading. But then one day, I just had this, not a wave of maturity, but I just had this like urge to pick up a book and it was really good. It was enlightening. It was like, it opened my mind up in a way that I've never seen before, guys. Reading will open your mind up to a different point of view. It's almost like you can now see the world out of someone else's perspective. Read fun books, read, 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 read whatever you read, read the Bible, read your religious book, read whatever you believe in. And I also suggest to read not psychological books, but basically books that basically teach about yourself. Yeah. And I'll recommend some. Actually, let me go bring one of my favorite ones. <laughs> Guys, like, this book is a holy grail. This book made me come up with good routines. Like, before, I was such a routine-less girl. Like, I live on vibes. I don't even have, like, a shower routine. I do shower. I don't have a brushing teeth routine. I do brush. I don't have a self-care routine, but I do my self-care. But it's just, like, I do these things without planning them. I, just, I was living life like a man. Forgive me, man. But I was living life like a man. I was, like, on the edge. But then this book helped make me not stable, but it helped stabilize my routines because now I'm, like, okay, wake up, pray, take a shower, brush my teeth, do my skincare, have breakfast. Easy. And this book tackles that. It teaches you how to, you know, add new habits into your life, how to make your habits fun, etc. This, another one that I highly recommend is The Power of Now. This book, guys, started my spiritual awakening. 
crazy. It was such a good book. I read it while I was in on vacation in Jamaica. Yeah, this December that passed and it was so good. It was really, 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 really good that I got it on... I got the digital copy, but now I want to go pick up like a physical copy. But yeah, reading books will definitely change the way you see life. And it's going to help you too. It's going to help you, you know, learn more about things in general. And it brings me to my next lesson. We never stop learning. Why do you want to stop learning? I used to be on that table where I'm like, guy, I've been in school since I was one years, eight months. I'm 19. So I've been in school for 18 years ish i'm tired of learning but no that's actually not what you're tired of doing because if you think about it we learn every day like this morning i just learned how to set up my camera with this new light up there i have another light here but i just we learn every day okay learning never stops and i feel like that's fun especially when you're learning something you like the only time you don't enjoy learning is if maybe you're not you're genuinely not interested and that's just a sign that okay leave that it's not for you go find whatever your soul likes go find what you would prefer but don't stop learning guys it's good to keep your brain active oh my goodness so so good have a spiritual practice do you understand when i say a spiritual practice i don't mean religion religion is different from spirituality i feel like religion is a bunch of spiritual people as a group Whereas spirituality is you and your God. And I feel like so many people don't know that. Or even if they do know that, I feel like they don't implement it into your life. And guys, that's actually what you need to be implementing. You could be going to church every day, every day of the week, every Sundays. You even do a nice vigil there. You can even go and live with a pastor. And guess what? You still don't have God in your life. Why? Because your relationship with God is a personal one. You can't go to God or whatever you believe in through your religious leader you have to go directly like hello it's something between you and go it made my spiritual belief stronger because now it's like i can do things and i'm like oh yeah like as long as that brings peace to me and my soul i know it's actually right for me um take a moment to be still the next lesson is a lesson that i recently just learned and I love so much because it has genuinely changed my life. It's changed my perspective and all that. But I saw a video on I think YouTube where he's a therapist and he was basically like failure is the prize of winning. I don't even know if that's how he said it. But he said something in the words like that, which basically means you should not be scared of failure. If you're a winner and you know you're a winner and you know you want to win and you know you're going to win failure is just like a side thing like that you win and you look back and be like oh I feel at that point but like that was what pushed me does that make sense like you should use your failures to learn you should use your failed experiences to learn and become better at what you're doing do you get what I mean and if you're someone who struggles with indecisiveness like me indecisiveness like me that's literally a, it used to be my toxic trait right i took psychology my first year it was horrible it was a lot for me and my mental health it literally weighed me down and i was like yo don't lost it next year i switched to tourism and the funny thing about this i did this switch while i was in nigeria and I school in Canada, guys. So imagine, like, I was like, bro, I don't know if this is right. I don't even know if I'm thinking straight. But at the same time, in my heart, I was like, no, go, like, do it. What's the worst that can happen? The worst that can happen is you graduate and you have a tourism degree. And guess what? Now you can become a professional tourist. Literally. It's better to make the mistake... I would say than like not and sometimes in life let me tell you a decision is better than no decision at all a decision is better than no decision at all so even if you pick it who cares if it's like the wrong no one cares if it's the wrong one two no one can like minimize life and see all the tabs and see if okay this is not a good 
um, path for me. Let me choose. No one does that. You okay? You have to live through it. You have it's a journey. That's why life is a journey. You have to live through those failures. You have to live through those indecisiveness. Make a decision. It's not as hard as you think. It's a mental thing. I promise you, it's a mental thing. That's why they say thinking about a problem doesn't get the problem solved. It only creates more thinking for you to do. But thinking about a problem and taking action is better because two things can happen. You either fail or you succeed. And if you fail, you go again. If you fail, you succeed, you go again. You know, if you feel you must succeed, you get. And once you put it in your mind, once you register it, you're like, I'm going to succeed at this. You are. You are going to do it, guys. Life is a reflection of who you are. Okay? This, this is also something that i learned recently your universe is a reflection of what you basically are channeling into the world okay and i remember at the start of the video i said something about it's your life no one can live your life for you no one can make your mistakes for you i got this tattoos and i got my spine one too and my parents were mad at me because they were like oh my god like my dad literally said it looks like prison tattoos but at the same time like I like it though and I don't see that it looks like prison tattoos because to me it looks it literally says angel like I feel like it's so cute you know and if at all it does look like prison tattoos maybe when I'm 20 I'll not 20 maybe in the next 20 years I'll look back and be like oh my god I was so childish and it did look like prison tattoos guess what it's my life it's my lesson to live if I don't live it I'm not gonna come to the realization takes me to my next point don't force things on other people people can't change because of you the same way you're on a life journey is how everyone else out there is also on their various life journeys like when i first had like a spiritual awakening i don't want to say a spiritual awakening i mean that just sounds so advanced but when i first you know became more spiritual closer to god like i wanted to tell people you know i wanted to be like oh my god like come experience this but at the same time that's not my battle that's not my fight god is not inadequate the same god that like put me through those things and like helped me come to the realization will also help them out at their own time at their own pace because the thing about life is life is not a race life is a journey Do not box yourself. Do not try to put yourself into this box. Don't try to define yourself and be stuck on that. Life is moving. Life is... The universe is revolving. Earth is spinning around the sun. Things changes. Change always happens. So when you put yourself into a box, you limit yourself. We're humans. We're light creatures. We're limitless. The sky is our limit. If you're putting yourself into this box, then it's like you're not free outside of it. That's why I hate when someone calls me an influencer. Because it's like, I don't know. Like, I'm literally 19. I'm figuring out life. Like, I don't know if I want to be an influencer. But obviously, I enjoy it. Which is why I do it. If I didn't do it, I wouldn't enjoy it. But at the same time, I make the art back there so i don't limit myself i make art i what else do i do i crochet i literally have a brand that i make myself i crochet i do braids i do my hair myself at some point i used to braid hair too for money so it's like why don't box yourself i also do youtube come on now i'm also a student and guess what i'm also my parents full-time baby hmm? boxing yourself just limits you and it just takes away the entire fun of living life because the beauty of life is not knowing what tomorrow brings so live today be happy do what makes you most happy at any given moment you know don't have a limiting belief don't have a limiting mindset don't block yourself to one thing don't like learn about the world guys this world is so fun it's so fun, it's so entertaining, it's so exciting. You have so, so much to discover. And you will miss out on all these things if you box yourself, if you limit yourself. I will always advocate for mental health because I feel like I've struggled crazily. Ha! 
the day I actually open up about my struggles with mental health will be one hell of a day. Like, I feel like I would need Oprah to come interview me for that because I've battled with this thing like crazy for like since I was 15 and I'm 19 now and I'm now I'm better. So, like, for the past like three years, crazy. Always, always make sure your mental health comes first. The mental health was more important. I've skipped an exam because of my mental health. Like I was crying, I was having a panic attack. Done. I'm not I'm not gonna put myself through that because guess what? All those things will come and go. But your mental health almost dictates what mind and state you're in. It not almost, it does dictate what mind and state you're in. So if your mental health is like, you know, yada yada yada, if it's rowdy, if it's not at peace, if it's troubled you're gonna be troubled you have to do the work internally you have to make sure your mentals are okay you know and some few like mental health resources i love to use like i love to journal because when you're journaling it's just like let it all out if you're scared if you have trust issues like me and you're like what if someone reads my journal journal tear the paper off burn it are they gonna read ashes no but you've let that go away as long as you take it out of your mind and i can't remember who said this quote but it's a popular quote a problem half written no 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 a problem written is a problem half solved so the moment you take out what's bothering your mentors and you lay down a book or even talk about it half solved because then you would be like i mean it is what it is it just it just is okay make sure your mental health is always intact yeah oh my god i almost got an angel number but it's 1 10 p.m life is always happening in the same 1 10 p.m everyone's doing their thing some people are at the mall some people are in school da -da 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 -da. don't sort of what's the word let me put my mascara on guys like I was saying, life is always happening. Like the same moments when you're in your house, they're probably shooting the movie. So, because it's always happening, it means all opportunities are there, all windows are open, all doors are there. You just have to knock on it to sort of open it. Which brings me to my next lesson self care. Is so important it's incredibly important and when I say self-care I'm not just talking about like the physical the routines the no like that's important but there's more to it than that taking cold showers lighting a candle maybe staying in your room not going out being alone that's self-care okay staying to yourself is is self-care self-care is doing the things that basically cares for yourself and your soul okay Reading a book is self-care. Minding your business is the biggest form of self-care out there. Because when you mind your business, you will avoid unnecessary shit. You will stay away from unnecessary gossip. You'll just be on your own lane. And guys, being on your own lane is so peaceful. Like, it's so peaceful. So self-care, put self-care first. Um, excuse me, put self-care first. I'm trying to have like a self-care day which everyone is like sundays are usually like the self-care reset days and i try but i feel like i'm gonna try harder you know what this is this is a lesson that i need to strongly implement into my life one lesson that i've learned in regards to a relationship with people friendships acquaintances um i want to say dating too but i don't know yeah just all that funzy stuff mind who you trust see your ear do it like this mind who you trust and the crazy thing is we're all humans guys we will talk you Sif, ask yourself how many times have someone told you just kept a secret and you've gone to go tell it to your other best friend like i've done it sometimes i'm learning to not do it again because i'm realizing okay i'm mature now but it happens you know and it could be harmless Maybe the person did not do it intentionally. Maybe it just slipped out. Maybe, you know, they were trying to... Whatever. It could be harmless. But at the same time, people will talk. People will do the things that you trusted them not to do. 
my next points decenter relationships from your life especially as a young woman you're a young woman you're less than 25 your entire head man 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 why you're setting yourself off for failure you will <laughs> if you're living your life in a way that you want to just please a man like oh um I know how to cook so I can cook for my future partner, for my man. Um, I'm learning how to sweep so I can sweep the man's house. I'm learning uh, all power to you. But at the same time, put yourself first. Put your put your careers first. Put your education first. Put your family first. You get what I'm saying? Center your life around you. Be your authentic self. Don't go out of your way because you want to find a man. Now all of a sudden you're being a pitmisha don't do that okay because you want to you want to have a babe now you're betraying your homeboys you're not even a real man safe like huh be a smart money person you know i used to be one of those people that like whenever not even whenever something new comes out i've never i've never ever been peer pressured in my life but whenever something comes out and i like it i don't even look at my, i'm like i want it i want it and i'll get it now i'm I'll get it, right? And then I'll be like, okay. A week after I get that thing, it becomes the most, not the most worthless thing to me, but it's like, damn, like, this is, this is what you are? Like, when I first got my MacBook, Jesus Christ. Hey, I was a Pinterest girly. You know, like the photo booth, I'll be there taking pictures every day. But now, aside FaceTime and schoolwork, I barely get on my Mac, which I need to start getting on my Mac, but yeah the point is save your money save your money for things that actually matter because it's material things they will spoil they won't even give you it's the feeling you're chasing you don't actually want you can get a regular car but you don't actually want a rolls royce for one thing like you want to feel like this big chief in a rolls royce a double r like be for real it's the feeling you're chasing which is okay get a rolls royce i'll get one too soon <laughs> the feeling it's the feeling you're chasing that's what i'm trying to say and those feelings you can get them in this moment right now go on meditate outside meditate close your eyes feel the happiness feel fulfilled feel like yes like i'm the biggest real george driver ever you can get those feelings you don't need to you don't have to do past yourself especially now because we're all young we're all young especially the guys out there you're less than 25 love you're not a bit baller you don't need to be a bit baller you're still a boy and it's okay okay it's okay it's literally the pressure from like their friends or maybe the women they're going after and it's like if you get those kinds of pressure it will literally it'll ruin your life it'll ruin your bank accounts you go spend money where you no one spend your mentals will not even be okay so save your money if you want to spend your money just think take a moment deep breath be like do i actually need this if you want to splurge at least splurge with um your brain splurge on things that would actually you know benefit you guys a bonus lesson that i've learned is look good feel good when you look good you walk into a room with your head held high because you're like damn i know i look good i know i smell good and I taste good like you know like you have so much confidence and before I was like that can't be a real thing but when I put this theory to practice guys it actually is a real thing and not just does it make you feel good sadly we live in a society today where people judge you based on what you look like and the materials you have so not only are you looking good and feeling good, people will also see him like, oh my god, damn, that's Laura, she's so hot. Like, oh my god, I want to be Laura. Like, you know, you know what I'm saying? So it's like a win-win thing for you. Okay, guys, I want to say my last lesson for today is, it's not just a lesson, okay? It's an advice to everyone out there. Let me put my blush on and I'll go, okay? Thank you, thank you. Okay. Thank you guys for sticking with me. We're all ready and we're about to be done. 
Okay guys, so the last lesson I've learned at 19 is always be happy. Always, always, always be happy. When you're happy, everything goes your way. People that are not happy, you will see that they're not happy. You could cut them off or you could just choose to ignore them because you should never let an outsider dictate how you feel inside. Always be happy because when you're happy, you live longer, you live a happier life, you live a better life, you live a more fulfilling life, and you also do more things that make you happier. Okay? Thank you for watching. And I hope you were able to find or resonate with a lesson. But let me know in the comment section if there is any lesson you really resonate with or any lesson you would like me to talk to you more about or if you need an advice on anything i'd give you my 19 year old opinion but for the record i'm actually a very smart 19 year old okay okay thank you guys see you in the next video